Hello everybody. Thanks for stopping by, coming to hang out uh, this afternoon with me for a little bit while we attempt to start chapter two of Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door in this playthrough. Um, very wonderfully, we're still ahead of our timestamp. So level five with a playtime of slightly under five hours gives us a little bit of time to do some more level up. Wow, Pizza Monday. Pachelin Cobra, it's okay. This chat keeps secrets. Some sometimes. It really depends. But like I feel as though the Pizza Friday thing is more like as long as you have pizza on Friday, it's not like illegal to have pizza the rest of the week. Is it? Is it illegal to have pizza the rest of the week? I'm almost afraid of that answer. Um, so I do have a couple <laughs> I do have a couple of announcements um, to start the stream with, so I am sure you have noticed these already because I wanted to make sure that they were up well in advance, but we do have emotes now. Um, so after I gained affiliate status a couple weeks ago, I did reach out to uh, Vixdraws, who you might know from my chat or from Top Down Tabletop or from her own streaming channel where she does drawings. Um, she is the wonderful artist responsible for uh, this delightful collection of emotes, um, which is the, the K-Menzel emotes. She's also responsible for the final artwork, though not all the concepts. Um, of the top-down emotes, which I've dropped in there as well, so top-down tabletop, um, she's she's made emotes for them as well, and I think she does really lovely work. Um, so since she's not here, which means she can't get mad at me for doing it, um, I'm gonna shout her out. <laughs> Last seen, <laughs> recently seen playing art. That is that is accurate. Oh, just as I readjust myself. But anyway, she's lovely. She does really, really good work. Um, and so very wonderfully, she has set me up with uh, Lady Kiwi Welcome and Lady Kiwi Wow, <laughs> um, which I think are the cutest. Wow, specifically, is just like every time I look at it, it gets more adorable and I like can't handle its levels of cuteness. So we now have emotes. And she's also the one responsible for, if you are in chat and taking a look, um, I know Petulant Cobra and Kim Menza both have Founders badges on, but on my uh, little tag, like my little badge set, you can see the little bow that, that we just kind of nicked off the rabbit and dropped in the sub badge spot. Um, so Vix is also responsible for that, and I think her is wonderful, and so I just... Uh, uh, Kimenzel, your spelling, though. Yes. I think her art is wonderful, and so I, I was very excited um, to be able to commission her for this, and I think she did a fantastic job. Rabbits have been, I, I oddly, I know, I have like a bajillion Pusheen sitting right here, but rabbits have been my favorite animal, like, since birth, and so that just made sense. Hello, cats! Nice to see you here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a chat dab. Um, and yes, I'm just bragging about all of the wonderful work that Vix did with my emotes and my sub badges. And so very beautifully, I'm just super happy that those are in place now. And then Kaz also knows this already because uh, I think they checked their integrations. But the other announcement that I have today is for anyone who is, yes, Vix did such a good job. I'm just letting myself get so distracted by chat that I'm not doing my announcements correctly, but it's fine. Um, the other announcement <laughs> is that if you are so inclined, um, I, oh, I do. You are right, K Menzel. Okay, give me, it's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll get to that. Um, but the other announcement is that very wonderfully, um, I have also started a, a sub first discord similar to K Menzel's. If you are sub to this channel, you can find it in your integrations. Um, and you can join the community, like legitimately, I, I literally feel like I made a discord just because of that joke. Uh, <laughs> and yes, Kaz, Kaz showed up there this morning because, you know, integrations. It's okay. Vix is there already. Kibenzel's there already. People who are checking their integrations are spotting it. Hi, Phalerix. Nice to see you. Um, I'm just going through a couple of brief announcements and then, oh, 
Okay, okay, so modify redeems can wait. Thank you, Petula Cobra, for redeeming. Keep doing what you're doing. I will continue on doing the announcements until they are done, and then I will try to fix my redeems. But also, um, thank you, Kaz, for redeeming Stop It's Hammer Time and redeeming Jump. That means in the next battle that I fight, I will be seeking to ensure that Mario only uses a jump attack, um, which may lead to chaos, because I don't know what I'm going to fight next. So I will just... I will just try to find a way to defeat the enemy anyways if it's if it's difficult to jump on. So thank you for that redemption. Um, thank you also, K Menzel, for popping the Discord command into chat. Um, jokes on them, choose the enemy. Honestly, Phalerinx, I'm pretty sure I'm about to walk into a screen that has three different sets of Goombas in it, and so if that is true, I'm definitely picking the para Goombas and trying to fight them first so that I don't have to jump on a spiked Goomba helmet. But to back up, ooh, 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 well, lovely. Thank you, K Menzel, for the gift sub to Zailer Avon. Um, <laughs> you're just like derailing all of my announcements. So I'm just gonna reset and like quickly go through them again. Um, so for those of you who are just joining us, the wonderful Vic Straws uh, has delightfully designed some emotes and some sub badges for this channel. So we have ourselves now a Lady Kiwi Welcome and a Lady Kiwi Wow. I have also started a sub first Discord, um, which essentially can only be found through your integrations. So if you are on Discord and you are interested in joining the community, um, you just go to your user settings and in your integrations, it should list all of the Discords that you have. Uh, I guess like the, the ability to join the community should be there. Um, it's got the little little lady Kui welcome waving at you um, so you can slide in there if you'd like. Um, there's only a few channels but ah, it's it's mostly just like a way to hang out and it seems like fun. So those are the two main announcements as we have this wonderful new art and we also have this wonderful new discord. Um, we also have a couple of other things going on. So one of the commands, that's okay Vic Straws, I was sort of counting on you being late to this one so good job. Um, <laughs> and also welcome and welcome to dm shanks i saw i saw you slip in here too and so like everything everything great is going on so y'all can join join the discord if you want but um the last couple things i'm gonna say before i start gameplay um is i i do have in in the channel point redemptions you can probably see that there's a suggest a reward or command so I think uh, a little over a week ago Lemon Paws was hanging out here and they suggested very helpfully um, a new channel points reward um, so my channel points are called meaningless calories uh, <laughs> which is fine it's it's mostly just to encourage you to use them as much as possible um, but if you want to take a peek at some of those, uh, there, there is a new one there that Lemon Paws suggested, and there's also just kind of whatever, whatever other mess you want to deal with. Um, and technically, now that I have a couple of emotes, it sort of made sense to me. Yes, Vickstraws, K Menzel has mentioned that I need to unlock that for you guys, so I'm gonna try to do that while also streaming, which is great. Um, but in the meantime, since I now have two wonderful emotes, it means that having a subscriber goal actually kind of makes sense. So, right? <laughs> Thank you, K Menzel, for redeeming Princess Peach under voice acting. Uh, so, the way that works is that for the next few minutes, I think I said it at five, but I'm sure Kay Menzel will correct me, you can select an NPC voice that I've been doing or that you've heard me do, um, or some other weird accent you've heard me do on stream, and you can request that I talk like that for a little while. So uh, this is Princess Peach's voice, according to my stream and according to no one else in the world. Anyway, as I was saying, <laughs> I now have a subscriber goal. Uh, I have 22 subscriber points, and if I can get three more points this month, I unlock another spot for a tier one emote, which I think would be fun. So if the community is interested in that, we have a couple weeks still left to see if we could get three more people on board. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, Kaz, 
thank you so much for reminding me. I know that isn't what you meant to do, but while I was bragging about the wonderful emote art, um, I actually have them on my stream overlay and I could have popped them up to show you. So we've got a wonderful Lady Kiwi welcome and Lady Kiwi wow there, nice and, nice and enlarged for your enjoyment, I suppose. Aren't they adorable? <laughs> And also, yes, our subscriber badge is a bow and it's a thing of beauty. Um, so I'll, I'll make those disappear for a little while at least so that uh, we can actually get started on gameplay. But in response to Vix now mentioning it, because it does, it would not do to uh, not <laughs> answer her now that she's here, I am going to see how long it can take me to figure out how to set up. Oh, it is hard to keep this accent. Uh, how to add a quick channel point reward for y'all. There we go. Okay, I don't know if that will have properly gone live or anything, but uh, technically it exists now, and I'm hoping that it works. And yes, Kaz, enjoy your lurk. I'll see you when you're back here, bored or something. <laughs> I hope you managed to get some things done. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to back up a little bit. This is very good menu music. BM Shanks, thank you very much for redeeming. Keep doing what you're doing. I'm not sure what I was doing at the time you redeemed it, so I hope I did it a little bit longer then, just, just to make sure. But I've got to assume I was at the very least doing this accent. I might have been paying attention to chat, or I might have been trying to fix an emote channel point reward detail. Doesn't matter. I did something. Oh. <laughs> the sunglasses on that rabbit are perfection. Don't forget to shoot your bunnies. <laughs> All right, these these are amazing, and I am very much a fan of them. But we are being distracted from gameplay. So today uh, we're level five. We've been playing for four hours and forty three minutes, and uh, we're gonna give a shot at trying to figure out how to start chapter two. And I am in fact remembering that Kaz a while ago did redeem uh, stop its hammer time, which means in, and he redeemed it for jump, which means in the next battle I fight, Mario can only use the jump command, even if that means I suffer for it. So that'll be that'll be interesting. Okay, Menzel, how many minutes did I say I had to do the NPC voice? Was it five? Has it been five? <laughs> Vix, you're right. That's the perfect emote for Paper Mario. Just squish him. All right, okay, Menzel, has it been five minutes? No, it says four minutes ago in my in my stream. I'll, I'll keep at it for a little while longer. But we're going to start a file now and actually get get to it. The redemptions are a little excessive. I don't know, I find them fun. I don't really mind how people use their points at the moment. Especially because mostly when I get into gameplay there seems to be a habit that people chat less, so... Redeem it now while I'm paying attention. <laughs> uh, so, we were brought back. We didn't have to walk all the way back, which was great. Oh, that's true. I, I could always I could always limit it, but I don't mind trying if it's a voice that I've attempted before. That's a great suggestion, Fellerinx. Absolutely, he should make steak for dinner. Uh, and apparently potato, which I hear is a very Irish suggestion. Uh, so we beat a dragon and then we ended up back in this village here. Uh, Shanks, I'm not sure if you, why you would have expected any other suggestions from this chat, but there you have it, steak and potatoes, it's a great dinner. Um, but we need to be back in Rogueport, so... Now we have some wandering to do. Oh! I'm going to have to stop with the Princess Peach voice in order to attempt a Goombella voice for a little bit. If I can remember even what that is. 
Mario? Are, are you okay? You're totally shaking. Do you need a bathroom? And then he says yes. <laughs> Squish. <laughs> Lady Kiwi Wow Squish is like the cutest thing. Oh! Uh, nope, nope, that's wrong. Oh, is that a mailbox SP? Cool! With the light? Hey, who's that mail from? <sighs> my dearest Mario, I send this letter in the hope that it reaches you safely. I am being held against my will in some strange place. Though I do not know where I am, I remain unharmed and in relative comfort. Those who have captured me seem to be after the map I sent you earlier. They may be hoping to use it to find objects they call the Crystal Stars. I do not know what they are planning, but I have a feeling it is not anything positive. Mario, please collect these crystal stars before they do. You must. They are already aware that you have the map, so please be very careful and please don't worry about me. Princess Peach. There we go. I'm glad I got like five minutes of practice on that accent before I had to read that. Wow. Oh, wait a second. Isn't that from Princess Peach? The princess? So that means she's okay. At least she's not hurt. But it sounds like whoever kidnapped Princess Peach is also after the crystal stars. I'm getting those two accents confused. Okay. Sweet. We have a Goomba here. I'm fighting him with jump. <gasps> okay. Okay. I still have my cricket badge on. I need to remember to take that off. So, since Kaz has redeemed jump, that means I can only use jump as Mario, which means I cannot deal with that Goomba. So I'm gonna have to switch to somebody else to deal with him. But, Surprisingly successful, given that all three types of Goomba were part of this battle. Hooray! There we go! Making me use alternate strats. Now, I think there's a Paragoomba. Oh, nope, there's that guy first. I was wrong as to which one was closer. And now we can go back to having actual strategy. Whee. And one day I'll remember to take off the cricket badge, <laughs> but it might not be today. Lovely. Nice. Money. At this point, I'm still slightly greedy for funds. I know it's like super late to bring it back up again, but I actually like what amuses me the most about the Lady Kiwi Wow that's been squished. It really does look like it's laying flat, and in this game, like. You, characters and other things do get squished sometimes and they really do look exactly like that so it's just kind of phenomenal whoops missed that jump oh well hmm <laughs> Uh, cool. And I collected that Goomba's badge. Neat. Okay, so we've been to the castle, we defeated Hooktail, we're just trying to go back to Rogueport now. Oh gosh. That's what we're doing, because we're trying to locate Chapter 2. That is what we are up to. Can 
I now have a Koopa and the ability to fly. Can't get up there. Ugh, badges. Badges, 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 badges. It's true, 59 followers, like, almost. Almost. We've got 10 more of those to go. Maybe if I hit my sub goal, I'll put up a followers goal of 69. Baked potato pizza. Interesting. I have heard of, like, more potato-y styles of pizza, but never done like that. Petulant Cobra, was that any good? Okay, so we've also learned... Wait, hold on. We've also learned how to do this. And so technically, that is a new pipe. I'm gonna go quickly hit the save block. So there's a few places in Rogueport that we can explore. Well, Kimenzo, we've had decent onion pizza though. Because, okay, so chat, I think what I need to do is I need to go back down this pipe, I need to pop over to the Thousand Year Door again, and I need to stand in the middle of the platform so that it tells me where the next crystal star is, and then I need to go wherever that is. So I should probably do that first, and then I can explore what's down this pipe, because what's down this pipe is probably the way to that next chapter. Mustard instead of tomato sauce? That is too much mustard. I mean, except for maybe Fef the Robot. I don't know. I don't know his taste, but like that is too much mustard. Like, a little bit of mustard I could understand, because, like, mustard tastes good on hamburgers, but, like, that is just an overwhel overwhelming amount. I, I do prefer whole mustard to yellow mustard, which is true. Yellow mustard has a really sharp taste, I guess. There's, like, so many different places that I could be going right now, and I just want to... I just want to explore them all. Because the other place that I could go is here. So there's two new places that I could explore. Oh, I forgot the badges again. <laughs> Cricket noises. Dijon mustard is better than yellow mustard. I was not paying attention. I deserve that. Other than the fact that, like, like, so the thing is ketchup also works really well on burgers. And so, like, if you leave tomato sauce and then just add some whole grain mustard or something like that, and then those other ingredients, it feels like it would be enough still like a pizza? Like, I don't know, man. I don't know. That that just sounds real weird. Come, come back here? Yeah, that's fair, Phalerings. I'm not the biggest fan of mustard, but I have learned that there are some contexts in which it can be really tasty. I think one of the specific weird things is like, as someone who doesn't really like mustard, it used to be one of the only things that I put on hamburgers, because that was what my mother put on hamburgers. And so it just didn't occur to me to not try it, and it's not that bad. Yeah, that's fair, Kimenzel. Chicken quesadilla pizza. 
That sounds delicious. I love chicken quesadillas and I love pizza. And so if if they've actually successfully combined those things, I'm likely to be a fan. Yes, Kim Menzel, you do. There there are a lot of meals that we have with mustard. Um as a like mild celebration of cool things like having having I don't know, I guess emotes in a Discord. Uh, I'm actually going to be drinking my tea out of a fancy teacup today, so I'm just going to just going to pour that. I think I have about a cup and a half from my like single use teacup. But I realized the other day that I have I, I am an odd individual and I have a teacup collection and I never use them for anything. Salsa and tortilla chips on a pizza, that is interesting. Um, one of the things that Kimenzel and I actually get to try in mid-August, I think, um, is when it's coming. We, we get like um, a meal kit delivery service uh, every, like for the weekends. Um, so like we make normal meals during the week, but we take a little bit of extra time to try new things. Hi, Focus! Nice to see you! Thanks for stopping by! Um, so to continue what I was saying, um, which I think was to Petulant Cobra in response to the salsa and tortilla chips on pizza. Um, because we get this like meal kit service, it lets us try new things that we've never tried before. Oh, that's rude. That is rude, Stream Elements. How dare you time them out for just being happy about emotes. I need to change settings on things. Rude. Rude. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Focus. I'm really excited about the emotes too, and I love your excitement and stream elements is being bad, so I'm gonna have to go and fiddle with the settings again. Um, so one of the things that Kay Menzel and I get to try in mid-August is we ordered a quesadilla as part of the kit, which has like a tomato sauce salsa style build, which I've never had before, because I'm I'm not used to that being the makeup of quesadillas, so I'm really excited. <laughs> oh my gosh! That Fifi Bonk is like the exact mood of my feels. That is super perfect and really, really cute focus. So I'm really glad to see you today, even though my bot is being rude to you. <laughs> I apologize for that. We're still hunting around trying to find chapter two because I was really excited and I spent a lot of time talking about my wonderful new Lady Kiwi Welcome and Lady Kiwi Wow emotes, which are wonderful, and about my new little bow sub badges, which are the cutest things. And I just, I just love, I just love them a lot. And then I also mentioned that I have a sub first discord. So if you are subbed to me, um, you can actually check your Twitch integrations if you are interested. Um, but you can check your Twitch integrations and you can join the community Q community if you want to. Everybody who subbed can do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the Twitch update. Um, so I think what Focus is talking about is the update that actually has changed based on how long you've been streaming, how many different sub badges are available to you. Because it used to just be one, two, three, six month, like one month, two month, three month, six month, nine month, and a year. And now based on like how long you've been streaming, you get more. And like, well, in general, that's a really cool thing that they're offering. I think specifically for a lot of people like Focus who has been streaming for a while it's sort of like but i have a setup already and now i have to do new things and that is what do i do and so like oof so i know for me like the setup that i have right now is only gonna work till december because in december i unlock another one of those apparently and i'm like but i don't know what to do with it ah <sighs> so i hold up the crystal star uh and then magic and then uh, new stuff. Wow! Oh my gosh. So, like, first of all, that's really cool, Focus. But second of all, that sounds like that's going to be a lot of new sub badges. Just partners that are getting the extra sub badge slots fixed? Three years, that's almost a year. Get out of here, Kim Menzel. Okay. Yeah. Yes, thank you, Kim Menzel. Yes, affiliates get that stuff now, too. 
Hooray! Cool, so now I need to go to the Bogley Woods. Which is somewhere. Oh, hey, check it out, Mario. The location of the next crystal star has appeared, but I have no idea where that is. Okay, I guess we gotta let Professor Frankly tell us where that place is. Blah, blah, blah. They're gonna reset me outside, and I'm gonna have to go back down the pipe and keep exploring again. <laughs> Needs to think of a new neckerchief color. I think I'm at the point, K-Menzel, where I've already hit purple. It's just gonna be ever-darkening shades of purple. <laughs> However many more they add. <laughs> Orange sherbet. That sounds delicious. But if that's supposed to be a color, it's probably less delicious. I see, I see. Crystal clear. I don't remember what his voice was. Yeah, great pun. Okay, come on. Where's the next crystal star, Professor? We do have popsicles, K Menzel, you're right. And yeah, Vixstras, I, I really appreciate that top down K Menzel and like my sub badges all followed a, a hue based pattern rather than a change of shape because it does make it a lot easier when you're adding when you're adding stuff. <laughs> oh my gosh, gamers. Hello, welcome. Nice to see you here. Okay, so the next crystal star is in the Bogley Woods. I don't even remember what voice I was using for this guy, so I'm supposed to find a great tree in the... Yay! Kivenzel, thank you for gifting a sub to Gamer. So Gamers, what you have earned is the subject of our announcements today, which is you have earned these lovely emotes made by Vic Straws, who is an amazing artist. Um, we have a Lady Kiwi Welcome and a Lady Kiwi Wow, which are great. And you have also earned, if you would like it, access to the Community Discord, um, which is sub first Kaz. The dab with that bunny is the cutest thing. Oh my gosh, I can't stand it. Um, yeah, and so if you're on Discord and you feel like it, you can check your Twitch integrations and the Community should be an option there with a little Lady Kiwi Welcome waving at you and so you can... Go hang out in that Discord if you'd like. It's just another place where existence happens. And, you know, I'll check it at the end of my stream and see what actually happened. Um, so we're looking for a great tree in the Bogley Woods. And, okay. So this is where we get a hint as to where we need to go. Because they basically mention the- Oh my heckin' gosh, focus. Your little focus buddy next to, like, the flipped- Oh, that is the cutest thing! <laughs> the little, the two little bunnies waving. Oh, I love it. Adorable. Adorable. Okay, so Professor Frankly has pointed us to these teeny little creatures that live in the Bogley Woods, and we saw one of those running away from us the first time we went to look at the Thousand Year Door. Um, and so, yeah, there's a pipe beneath town that leads to those woods. Um, and now we're updating Professor Frankly that Princess Peach has been kidnapped. But we're still going to be just looking for crystal stars. This this is the summary because I've been very distracted and I actually like do want to start chapter two at some point today. <laughs> oh! Oh, but it's actually kind of good that we've popped up here. We can't go that way yet. <gasps> yes! Okay, so this is cool. I'm going to do that in a second. I'll be back. Don't don't go anywhere, Luigi. Um, yes, Kaz, enjoy your lurk. Go back to work. <laughs> Yeek. So there's a couple of things that we can accomplish since we've been, like, sent back to the town, basically. Um... Okay, that part is not here yet. So at some point there's gonna be a contact lens here that we have to buy so that the lady moves out of our way and and no longer blocks us. 
but it is there is a slight slim chance that the badge store may be open and if the badge store is open i want to go and look because i always want to go and look because there's a couple badges like spike shields and um chill out that i really want yes it is open what have we got Make, make action commands easier, but earn less star power. Get more star power when Mario appeals. Drop the damage your ally takes. Slowly and automatically restore FP. And, okay. So none of those are badges that are, like, desperate for me. Let's look at the journal, though, for just a second. Map, yes. Crystal stars, yes. Tattle log. I'm gonna be obsessed with filling this chat. It's gonna be problematic. Okay. Oh dear. I will remember to take that off. Oh. Yay! Oh, that's so cute! Hi, Kemi! Oh, we raid with the zeal and also eel? <laughs> Attack of the Kemi people. That's so cute! Welcome, everybody! Thank you so much for the raid, Kemi. Thank you for stopping by and and coming and just like saying hello. So welcome everybody. My name is Lady QEW. Um, I'm a casual gamer and I stream twice a week, just kind of walking through some of my favorite games with you guys and with like chats and everything like that. Um, and so right now we're doing a casual playthrough of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, which is one of my favorite games ever. And we're trying to figure out how to start chapter two. And by that, I mean, I keep getting distracted by chat and by other things. <laughs> Um, because today, for the first time, which is very exciting, I actually have emotes. So I've been telling all of my subbed people that I have emotes, and I'm really, really happy. Um, now I think, oh, thank you, K Menzel, for doing the, the shout out command for that. So if anyone hasn't um, hung out with Kemi before, she's actually really cool, and she plays some really fun stuff. So... Yep, and, and Vic Straws and I were playing some Stardew earlier today as well, just casually. We are starting a farm. Um, and so go drop her a follow, go say hi to her, make sure to check her out the next time she's streaming and you're around, because she's great. And yeah, really happy to see you. And nice to meet you, thank you for the follow, DJ Sovereign, is how I'm going to say that. And yes, aren't they adorable? So Vic Straws is in my chat, she's the one who, who designed them and like drew them up and they're the cutest things and they blow my mind. And the actual, like honestly, honestly, the Lady Kiwi Wow is just the cutest thing I think I've ever seen. I love it so much. So I'm mildly obsessed with it and I'm like putting it everywhere, which is great. But yeah, welcome everybody. Thanks for stopping by and, and I hope you enjoy the content a little bit. And yes, and Focus is here too. And like give give Kevy a follow. Kevy, when you have a chance, I mean just keep saying hello to everybody. It's it's fine. I'm gonna go back to playing my game. But when you have a chance, how did your stream go? Were, were you making some progress with your farm? Where are you at? I know like three things about Stardew, but I'll be really excited for whatever you tell me. <laughs> oh, okay. 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 We have a close call. We have... Ooh. I kind of like that better, actually. Not that either of those really matter a whole lot right now. They're sleeping again. Just started summer. Ooh, I think I'm still in spring because I have played for like 10 total days. Um, let's go the short way and just fling ourselves off the bridge up there. Oh, no food for the chicken. No. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. Feed it. Feed the chicken. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, so the other thing that I think I could do, which I may not do right now, is if I go in here, I can level up one of my partners, but I don't know that I want to. Oh, that's very cool. It's just, like, it's such an interesting game. From what I've seen of it, it's really easy to just fall into playing it for hours and hours and hours without realizing how long you've been playing, which is interesting, because, like, I actually find that true of this game as well, though very differently and for different reasons. I, I would play this game in one sitting if that wasn't just absurdly unhealthy. So thankfully I'm breaking it into bite-sized pieces by, uh, you know, streaming it. 
<laughs> Thank you, Kimi, for redeeming Keep Doing What You're Doing with those lovely hearts. And so I will, I will keep doing what I am doing, which is playing this game. Um, and now I think it was uh, last time I was streaming, uh, Gamers and Vix were talking a little bit about Luigi. <laughs> I think it's cute. <laughs> I like it as a reward too. Um, they were talking about how Luigi was obviously the better brother, and one of the really cool things about Thousand Year Door is that Luigi has his own side plot going on, and so he just sort of shows up around town sometimes, and if you talk to him, you like get to learn a little bit about the adventures he's having while we're doing what we're doing, and his adventures sound really interesting. So I'm going to talk to him. Oh dear, does that mean I need a voice for him? Do I have a voice for him? I, I, I regret even thinking of that. Maybe it was. So I've never played Origami King, which is interesting considering like how into the older games that I am. But hello, Sea Jinx. Thank you for stopping by and for dropping that little lady kiwi welcome. Um, but yeah, I... I wouldn't be surprised if this is a callback. I don't think it was <laughs> Mama Luigi to you. Amazing. Um, I don't think it was something that was present in Paper Mario because you just kind of hung out at your house all the time. But starting in this game, it really does feel as though they, they just wanted to add a little bit more personality into the game, I feel. And so this was a cute way of doing that. So, well, hey, big brother. Fancy meeting you here. What a coinkydink. Eh, me? Oh, well, bro, I'm on an adventure. You know, no big deal. I have to rescue Princess Eclair of the Waffle Kingdom. Uh, yeah, it's it's a bad scene, all right. She's been kidnapped by the evil Chestnut King. If you gotta know, I met with some Waffle Kingdom cabinet members the other day. It was pretty crazy, bro. Want to hear what happened? It's a pretty long story. And, like, yes, I want to hear what happened. Hey, sounds good to me. Which part of my story you want to hear, bro? And so we only have one tale right now, but we will unlock more tales in the future. Petulant Cobra, I agree. I want to go to the Waffle Kingdom, but I think I might be a danger to Princess Eclair because, like, oh, that's a good dessert. <laughs> wow. Well, listen to this music. Is this not a delight? Okay, well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here goes. Um, so my big brother, uh, that's you, got a letter from Princess Peach and took off, left behind as usual. Um, I was cooking a snack at home when another letter arrived. We don't get so much mail, so I was thinking, huh? And this is what the letter said. Sirs, my name is Krep. I am a cabinet minister in the far-off Waffle Kingdom. Our land has been attacked by the Chestnut King who took our Princess Eclair. I ask, nay, beg for your assistance. The Waffle Kingdom needs your skills. I humbly request your prompt response, sirs. Sincerely, Krep. Well, I, I don't remember it exactly, but I think it went something like that. With Mario, uh, that's you, gone, I fell to me to answer the plea. Hesitating only a teensy bit, I headed to the Waffle Kingdom to investigate. Oh, no, first I wrote a note to myself about what I was cooking. Then I left. Once I reached the Waffle Kingdom, I met Minister Krep, who filled me in. The Chestnut King had kidnapped Princess Eclair and vanished. Apparently, though, some oracle said that a marvelous compass could locate her. This marvelous compass had been broken into seven parts by an ancient curse, and those parts had been scattered across the land. Can you believe it, bro? Like, this is just... Kemi, this, like, that is exactly it. It's like, he is going to describe a completely different Collect the Magical MacGuffins game than what we are playing. And it doesn't exist. And it blows my mind that it doesn't exist and that it has never been made. The story is already written. And yes, Mario and Gabella are just sleeping right now. <laughs> they do that a lot. Anyway, <clears throat> so each part of the Marvelous Compass was said to point to the next. 
I'll be honest, I haven't looked into the fan-made stuff as much, and so like, if there is a fan-made one, I don't know about it, but I feel like if there was, it would have gained traction somehow, and someone I know would have heard of it. Okay, so, and since one of the parts was embedded in the tiara worn by the princess, I surmised that once I collected all the parts, I'd find her. Smart, huh? The minister gave me the compass base spoken of in Waffler Fables. When activated, the entire thing lit right up, indicating the deep south. It was pointing me towards Rumble Bump Volcano on the Pudding Continent. So yeah, like, here I am, I'm sailing out of Rogueport for Rumble Bump Volcano. It's probably gonna be pretty dangerous, but I gotta rescue that princess. So that's Luigi Tail the first. And... Yeah, if we want to hear what he's been up to, we're just going to come find him. He'll be around. So he pops up unexpectedly. Uh, basically, anytime he changes location, there's a new part to the story. So right now he's here. And if I were to like reset this, go down the pipe, whatever, he would still be there when I came back until I got to the next point where the story progresses. And then enjoy enjoy your lurk for work, Phalaranx. Yeah, yeah fiend grump for work indeed um yeah basically until the next point that luigi's story progresses he'll be here and then he'll disappear and appear somewhere else and then we'll know where he is for that which is great <laughs> thank you kevy um one of the things that i do is uh on like saturdays and on a couple of other nights of the week sometimes um, as I play D&D &D as part of Top Down Tabletop and they have a lot of different commands like that and I've kind of like stolen the concept of a stealth roll from my lurk command from like watching other people do it before me so like it's not even an original idea but I do like it. <laughs> Lots of people want to come hang out and lurk. <laughs> oh work lurk. I just love that it rhymes. Anyway. Um, we're, we're still accomplishing very little. There's like three places we need to go. Um, so similarly to Paper Mario, um, kind of the way that you navigate the main map uh, is is basically as you do the different chapters you're unlocking different skills and the different skills allow you to go different places and so in Paper Mario there was like a pipe to the sewers um, where we had to go and fight squids a whole bunch in order to like unlock new rooms and whatever so thank you Chris Rowley for the follow lovely to see you here um, yeah and so we have learned we learned a skill of turning ourselves into a paper airplane in order to get to chapter one. And then while we were in the castle for chapter one, we learned this skill, which lets us turn sideways and like walk through, um, and like walk through bars like this. And so this was a pipe I could already get to, but this is a pipe that I couldn't already get to. And so this pipe, as well as like some other places, like, I, I just have some exploring to do, and I'm continually letting myself get distracted. So, I'm just gonna try a little bit more in the exploring direction. It does speed this part up. Um, so, this is one of the places I can at least look at. I'm not sure if I can solve it yet. Yeah, I can't solve this one yet, because I need a skill that I do not have to get through a room full of spikes. So, that one I can get to, but I can't do anything with quite yet. So a couple more places to check. Whoops. Walks right past the pipe. Wow, guys. Wow. Amazing. Okay. So we'll pop down here. Ooh. Okay. So this is a pipe to this person's place. It was probably not that important to me, but we'll take a look. She will be important later, I think. We're under the folks up top in my fortune-telling shop. I see your fortune, but stop. If you wish to talk to me across the table, you must be. Thank you, really, golly G. Okay. Hello, Sika92. Thanks for, for, you know, hopping back. Popping back on the thousand-year door train. Um, yep, 
that is true. K Menzel is right. Um, parts one through three are on YouTube, but also we completed the prologue in chapter one and we're currently hunting for the start of chapter two. Um, yeah, that bot command is a bit mangled. Thanks, K Menzel. I mean, it's my fault that the bot command is mangled. That's entirely on me. Okay, so that's where that goes. Shaman King, Netflix, August 9th. Kaz, you promise? Sweet. Well, I know what I'm doing. Okay, so we've looked at a couple of the places where we can slip through bars and we can't really do anything useful with them yet um so we're gonna go back to the place where we know we need to go so those little dudes mario did you see that that was one of the things professor frankly described yes thank you Kimbella. i appreciate that it's fine uh august <laughs> i'm glad you're having breakfast at 2 51 p.m fix um that's okay we won't we'll we'll just forget um august 9th for shaman king on netflix kaz says i love that these enemies are just flipping right out whatever i missed my jump 3d space man Ooh. Let's just practice some action commands. We'll do this one slow. So, if you've never seen Thousand Year Door before, um, their battle system is adorable. Whoops. There we go. That's better. Um, and it basically functions like a play. You have an audience. They give you star energy if they like what you're doing. You have action commands that double your damage, or you have guard action commands um, that protect you from taking damage, depending on whether or not you hit the right buttons. And you also have screw-ups like that, which is me failing my stylish command, which is a whole other thing. Anyway, that's great. Good job, K Menzel. I'm really glad I changed the bonk. At socials. <laughs> At socials, indeed. Okay. So we're gonna beat these guys up. So when you hit a stylish command on a hammer, Mario does a backflip. This is a little stylish thing. Wait. Really, Vix? Did you read what Bonk does? Oh, oh. I have been distracted. Okay. Yes, I imagine that that was kind of crazy, Kimmy. So thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for the raid. You are lovely. And I hope, I, I hope that the rest of your day is, is fantastic. And yeah, it was lovely to see you. Okay, so now I need to learn a new thing again. Oh. Whoa, that is way too many seconds. Okay, well, I did it wrong, but there you go. <laughs> You've been bonked, Vix. And I'm sorry, but eat your breakfast while you can. Okay, so as we know, we're looking for these little guys, and now we can actually, you know, get to this space. Hey, hey little dude. Huh? Uh, you didn't come to eat me? And you're not boys? And one of the options is guess again, nerd. Anyway, I'm gonna say of course not. For me? Phew! Boy, that's good! I thought for a second I might have an accident! Thank you, Kimenza. Uh, you're one of those creatures from the Bogley Woods, right? What are you doing here? What? What? When 
do you know about me? No, you you must be you guys are working for the X Nots, aren't you? You chased me here. No, okay, this guy's really dramatic. X Nots? Uh easy there, kid. What in the world are you freaking out about? We're not gonna do anything to you, so chill for a sec. Just tell us what's going on. Well, okay. This gang of bad guys who call themselves x knots came to where I live. They came inside our great tree and started tearing it apart and causing trouble. So, I've come all the way here looking for help. That is a really good point, Fixstraws. I think that does happen automatically. So, that's fine. I can't actually do that. Oh. I could do that better if I didn't keep losing my mouse on the other screen. <laughs> but that's fine. Let's just... Let's just try and fix this. Uh, this one. This one. And then... There we go. I fixed it. Gosh, I'm having to do so much like admin today. I think I have, um, I have a commands list. It's short though. I mean, mostly I need mods to delete messages that are not appropriate, so like... I just like making sure someone other than Kay Menzel has power in this place. Mario, that sounds like those guys who attacked us in Ropeport, right? If they're the same guys, then they're definitely after the Crystal Star. Adorable. Now that you mention it, they did say something about some crystal star thingy. But we puni punies. We puties don't know anything about any crystals or stars. I mean, not currently Vic Straws, but that's because K Menzel made that, not me. So, like, if you want a separate way to, like, punish Shanks for. Wow. Oh my gosh. Hey, could you guys help us out? Maybe chase them off? If you if you do, we'll give you, um, what was it? The crystal star? If you do, we'll have the puny elder give you that. I don't know what it is, but if, if it will help us reclaim our great treat, I'm sure the elder will agree. Oh, very lovely. Sweet and cutie. So what do you think? Let's not waste any more time. I'm begging you. Yes, no time out this time, focus. <laughs> I'm really sorry about the first one. I don't even know, like, I don't even know what my settings are. I've tried looking at them before. Okay, lovely. Yeah, it might have been for capitals, like capitalization, because WoW is capitalized. That's the only thing I can think. But honestly, Kimenzel, rude, flaunting your mod privileges by, like, using text when we're in emote-only mode. Yeah, so I think it's a capitalization once a certain number of capitals get hit. It, it does like an auto timeout. <laughs> this is great. Emote only mode is great. So this puny is named Punio. Uh, and he's going to try to take us to the Great Woods. But uh, meh, meh. How, are, how are we supposed to get there? So there's a button that opens a secret entrance. Now I don't know if anyone else noticed this dude over here. 
but I did. And so now it opens up a wall. And so we're gonna do our usual thing where we go the wrong way first. Cause, you know, bonk the honk. Cause that just makes sense. And then this pipe apparently is gonna take us to the Bogley Woods. And I think we first, oh wait, hold on. I can still keep that on, I guess. Not bad. Do I want that or do I, I think I want both of these actually on. Oh my gosh, the squished. The squish. We now have freedom from the emotes. I still like them though. Lots of cute emotes in chat. Oh! Guys! We figured it out! <laughs> After an hour of streaming, where my only goal was to start chapter two. I did, in fact, start chapter two, which is really great, <laughs> but it should not have taken me as long as it did. <laughs> oh, fresh chapter hype. Yes, you are right. You are right. We are in a fresh chapter in the Boggly Woods. It is most exciting. I am most excited. These are the Boggly Woods? Ugh, they sure look boggling. Okay, just a bit further, and we should be able to see the great tree. I don't know why that didn't work. <laughs> okay, um, so... Cool. So we're in a new place with different looking trees. And a save block. So we're going to save because that's always the right thing to do. <laughs> Time to go to work, lovelies. Vivian! You understand what we've got to do, yes? Uh -huh. A. Find that Mario guy. And B. Steal the map to the Crystal Stars, right? We can just do away with Mario and his friends, can't we? Or, or is that bad? Oh, bad! Things happen all the time, Vivian. <laughs> but you're right about our goals. If my information is correct, Mario should be coming down this road quite soon. You must ambush him here and get that map. Hmm? What's this now? Vivian, what's that you're fawning over? Oh, what? You mean this? I found it near that tree over there a while back. Isn't it a gorgeous necklace? It was so lovely, I just had to pick it up. Humph! Vivian, for shame! Picking up someone's scraps? Disgusting! Greedy! But enough about that. Vivian, my dear pack rat, bring out that sketch of that Mario guy that you got from Grotus. <laughs> Eep! Wh what I... I don't have that! You said it was way too important, so you took it! You should have it! Don't be ridiculous! I don't have that thing! You were in charge of it! You wretched little worm blaming me for something you probably screwed up! But... but I... Uh, these are the Shadow Sirens, DM Shanks, officially. That is their title. And yeah, the colors are even swapping around based on, like, which chat window I'm looking in, so it's just a weird soup. I thought, so the thing is, I thought I set my own color to purple, and everywhere I see it, it's purple. 
taking notes on the shadow sirens. Don't don't steal my my one shot ideas, man. Anyway, <laughs> says the effervescent. Oh, what is it, Marilyn? Huh? What's that? A mustachioed fellow? This is no time for such nonsense, you great oaf. Save your games for later. Oh my gosh, Focus, you have so many note-taking emotes right now, and they're all so cute. Now, now, where was I? You, Vivian, don't tell me you lost our precious sketch. But listen, I... Look, it's not my fault. I never had the sketch. Silence, you dits! Such impudence! How dare you talk back to me like some rebellious child! It's clear to me that the only rationale your type understands is force! So she steals the necklace. For your punishment, I'll be taking that necklace you just found. Yes, so sorry. But, but, Beldam! Oh, you're horrid! Okay, so that happened. Um, yeah, Focus, it's kind of interesting when there's like a lot of cute emotes, a lot of ideas, and you're like, oh, but what do I do with this? Do, are you finding it helpful that there's a library now where you can like store some of that stuff? Because I'm really excited for that. Okay. Um, cool. So these are trees. Okay. You know what? I, I like you. Okay. Oh, that's cute. Look at how cute that is. That's so cute. Oh, oh my gosh. That was awful. Okay, fair. I mean, it is really complicated managing that stuff focus, so I sympathize. Uh... Well, the piranha didn't actually... So the piranha did spawn on me, which was frustrating, but it didn't actually get first strike on me, so at least it's just plain combat. A pale piranha. Colorless. Four health. I think this only does three damage, but... Nope, it does four. Oops, and now I'm dizzy. That's great. Um, so what's this guy? Okay, it's a cleft. Defense is two. Screw that up. <laughs> Residual makeup. Oh my gosh, that's so great. Um, I mean, I like the concept failurings, but I think it's just because the theme of the Bogley Woods is black and white, and so any of the creatures that you fight here are the black and white version of their original. Um, so there's like three things I have that can hurt this guy. Maybe? Nice. And that's one of them. Sweet! I actually did a guard that time. I have 100 plus nice coins, and I have now ruined it by collecting other coins. Whoop. Don't know if I'm prepared for this combat. Okay. So I'm gonna try practicing something, I'll be honest. I'm gonna practice Earth Tremor, and we're gonna see how well I do. Because Earth Tremor is something that I think can also hurt.
I think. Nice! It does work. Okay, so Earth Tremor is one of my star energy powers. You might notice it used both of the star energy points that I have, so now I will have to regain those. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty cool move. You have to, in case it was not obvious, uh, because I cannot explain and also expect to do that move, um, you basically, as the red bar fills, you have to press the A button every time it hits a circle, and sometimes that's like not as clear as it should be, and so occasionally you will see me screw that up very, very badly, but at least that time I did not, and so that is exciting. Wow, <laughs> that's an emote. Oh, cool. I actually hit him that time. Oh my gosh. Uh... I have the wrong party member out for this, so I'm really hoping that Sleepy Sheep work. Oh good. Oh my gosh, look at how cute they are when they're asleep. I'm gonna swap for this. This is where stylish commands matter. Because you. Oops. You do wake them up if you hurt them. Right, that is true. That is unfortunate, but that is true. Okay, well, then I will waste. This is where stylish commands are really useful because it has let me regain already a star point even just in this one. I'm only getting six damage. Oh my gosh. Well, but like the thing is, Shanks, the attack looks the same throughout the game and you get more powerful as the game goes on. So like, it kind of makes sense. Um, and if you want to roll that, Shanks, it's just an exclamation point d6, not a 1d6, I think. If I even have that, I might only have d20 and d100. Uh, yes, Phalerinx. There are, I think I, I think I only, yeah. Um, there is a bigger audience now. It will get even bigger later. Eventually, I think my total cap can go up to like 150, but right now it's at 50. And yeah, that's a really cute rehash of the Lady Kiwi Wow into black and white. Just looks like it turned to stone and it's shocked. There's your six. Oh my gosh. Hilarious. Wow. Not bad. And a couple more battles. Wow. What did, what did you roll on the wild magic table, Vix? That's a very high number. Okay, so there's a stump in the background. That doesn't sound appropriate. Oh, cool! Okay. Yes! Chat, make sure to thank Vixstraws, because now, for the next minute, you are vulnerable to piercing damage. <laughs> you would like yours better, DM Shanks. It's fine. Okay, so jabbies and piders and punies live in that tree, is what we've been told. And that stump is how we get there. Uh, that looks like a thing I'm gonna want later. I'm just gonna hit some trees. I'll, I'll, I'll be there in a sec, dude. I'll, I'll be there in a sec. Thank you, C Jinx. Nice to see you. Fire truck cat might not be here, but my bot is. 
Okay, so I'm in the background. I'm getting distracted again. I'm finding chat too amusing today. I'm, I'm too willing to just stop playing the game. And that's no fun for progress. Okay. So this is the great tree. Hmm. Yes, I would like that, please. Nice. Fiend do what, came Enzel? Uh, what's going on? Uh, well, take a look. This door wasn't here before. Someone just installed it, and I can't open it. I thought I could finally save everyone. I'm a fool. Oh, quit being melodramatic. <sighs> Although, it does look thick. What are we going to do now? I regret that joke. Uh, hmm, hmm, get it. Okay, well, I'm gonna follow him. Long ago, the puny elder told me about a secret entrance somewhere around here. We can get in through there. I'm completely sure of it. Um, problem is. I doubt finding it is going to be easy. I mean, it won't be labeled secret entrance. What should we do? How are we supposed to find a secret entrance? It's secret for a reason, you know? Less than secret entrance. Well, it's hidden by this invisible thingy. We need to find and remove the thingy. Boy, but removing a normal thingy sounds tough enough, let alone an invisible one. Uh... Oh! Got it! Flurry! Surely Madame Flurry's powers can help us! Flurry is a refined and dignified lady who lives in these woods. The Elder says she's a wind spirit who can wield the powers of the air with ease. You see where I'm going with this? She can use wind power to blow the thingy away. Well, it won't hurt to try! Flurry lives in the deepest corner of the woods, so let's head back in the direction we came from. So now they're going to make me do some backtracking. And by that I mean sidetracking. But yeah, secret entrance door behind an invisible thingy. Oh dear. My NPC voices are going to slow everything up all the time. Ah, oh, these woods are the most wonderful in all the world. Yes, indeed. Building a house here was just the finest idea I ever did have. Oh, my, yes. This place is so different from the bright flashbulbs of the world I'm used to. Such peace, this negative image of the real world, soothes my body and soul. But what's even better is that I, Madame Fleury, grow ever more lovely here. Plus, those squishy, adorable little punies that live in that tree are so nice to me. But I suppose if I stay here too long, I'll begin to crave hustle and bustle before long. Oh, oh my, it's happening even as I speak. Already I feel the need for drama. That moment of exhilaration when the spotlight shines down on the stage, on me. Surely I was born to be an actress for the ages. This is a character and a half. It's settled then. I shall rise again. But before I make my stage comeback, I simply must whip my body and mind into shape. I'll just have to put on some makeup and make my beauty even more beautiful. DM Shanks, take notes. Makeup makes beauty even more beautiful. This is what we've learned. <laughs> is this you? <laughs> <laughs> Wait. 
Wait a moment. No! It's gone! Gone, I tell you! My... My... Fade to black. Okay, so that is happening. There are just so many stories. So many plots. That is a great guess, Fellerix. We will see if you are correct. If we head straight in this direction, we'll see Flurry's place in no time. Alright, um, I do not have a lot of flower points left. But, well, whatever. This will be fun. Okay. Okay. Nope, 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 nope. I'm trying to get in the pipe without, like, having that thing acknowledge me. There we go. Hmm. Okay. Um. Oh dear. Chat. We have a problem. Okay, so this is a dark puff. Oh my gosh. And it can zap us with lightning. So I need to not hit the green mushroom, and I'm very good at hitting the green mushroom. Oh, thank goodness. I do not think, um, so Phalarynx, I do not think that the type of audience makes a big difference. Um, like, whether it's piranhas or something else, it's just kind of random. Sometimes it's toads, sometimes it's not. Like, it, as far as I can tell, it doesn't, like, seriously change whether you're likely to get good or bad items from them or anything. Okay, so he's charged with electricity, which sucks, but he is floating on the ground, not in the air, like an idiot, so I can still hit him with a hammer. Which is great. And I have my star energy back, which is important because there is an enemy that I am going to really struggle hard to kill. Um, okay. So we found a sneaky way. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, that's something at least. Really don't want to fight that right now. <gasps> yes, I thought I saw something. Okay, I want that. Get it for me, please. Thank you, Hoops. Okay, okay, okay. So now I can fly a little bit further, which is important. Yes. And there we go. That is the thing that I wanted. Um, so Quake Hammer can also hurt. Um, is damage dodge more important than Happy Heart right now? Maybe. Honestly. I'm not sure. Gosh, I feel like I need more badge points already. Um, so Quake Hammer is one of the things that is extremely effective against those rocks. But it also, similar to Power Smash, like, costs... Costs flower points. Um, and so it is very difficult. Oh, lovely. So it's kind of very difficult to budget for that at this stage in the game. Which, you know, is fine. This is a stage in the game where everything is kind of difficult and it's supposed to be. And that's okay. I am liking taking no damage when I hit the action commands though. That's That's been real nice. Oh, I'm so close. Next fight, there's a real chance I'm gonna level up. Which is good. Money is also good. Hitting things. Hooray! Oh, a star piece. That's nice. Uh, that's something. Look! There, 
in the distance. That's what I was telling you about. Flurry's place. Ooh. Okay. So, my party is both fine right now, but my flower points are low and coins are not a big issue. So, I'm just gonna get a bit of a refill there. Sneak through here. Okay, that is a pitiful tree. Oh, a Voltrum. That sounds like something I'm gonna throw away. Okay! So let's go continue on this, like, exploration of learning who Flurry is and whether or not it's DM Shanks. Save block uh, that I can't hit because of a cutscene. Uh, excuse me. Um, maybe she isn't here. I wonder if she went for a walk in the woods. Well, either way, puny, I'm gonna save. Because I don't know what she's doing. Madame Flurry! Hello? If you're here, say something! Eek! No! Out of the question! You mustn't come in here! Oh, okay. Uh, Madame Flurry, are, are you there? Is that you? What are you doing? Oh, wait a moment. Those darling, squishy little footsteps. Is that you, Punio? Oh, it's been an age since I saw you last. You poor dear. Is there something you need? Uh, well, the thing is, we have a problem that only you can help us with, ma'am. The great tree's entry hole is blocked. There's this stupid door we can't seem to open. My puny friends are inside, so they're in a pickle, and Mario needs the crystal stars. It's a train wreck, really. Wow, that is such a great description. <laughs> if you can't find the secret entrance for us, we're done. Oh, is that all, dearie? You came all the way here just for that? My adorable little Punio, you know I would do anything in my power to help you. However, lamentably, I'm in a bit of a bind myself. I just cannot come out. Wow. What's the matter? It's somewhat embarrassing, but I never go out without my favorite necklace. I just can't find the blessed thing. I suspect I dropped it on my daily constitutional. I'd be simply scandalized if anyone saw me without it, so I shan't be going out. I absolutely must have that necklace to highlight my beauty, and that's that. Oh, I totally know how you feel. When I go out, I am all about the accessories. Hey, wait a sec. You lost your necklace? I'm having deja vu big time. I swear someone just said they found a necklace. What's that? Do speak up. You, whoever just spoke, do you have some clues to my necklace's whereabouts? If you do, you must help me, please. Be a dear. Find it and bring it back to me. If you could, then I'd be delighted to help my squishy little friend Punio. Don't worry, Madame Flurry. I'm sure Mario can find your necklace. Where it is, he is super. You can do it, right, Mario? Sure. Oh, okay. I'm sorry to trouble you so. Okay, so... This is, again, one of these lovely chapters where at the beginning we're introduced to the Shadow Sirens who found a necklace, and then we have to go all the way to the end to find the person who needs the necklace, so now we're going to go all the way back to the beginning to see if we can get the necklace so that we can go all the way back to the end to give the necklace to somebody just so that we can go back to the middle and try and find a secret entrance. So, stream's going to be going a little bit late because I definitely don't want to get stuck in this part of the plot for next time. Um, I'm just going to see how quickly I can solve this. Which will not be very quickly if I continue to allow myself to get distracted. Beltum, I told you, blaming me for losing the sketch. You had it. Violence, you twit. Now's not the time to get hung up on stupid details. We must study this sketch. Good. Wow! Sorry, this is not a witchy enough voice. I'm getting distracted by the puny. Wow! This Mario guy looks... manly. 
Check out that bushy mustache. How handsome. You know something, though, my lovelies. I swear I've seen this gentleman before. Yeah, He's Mr. Mustache! Gah! Marilyn is the best. Chris, I'm pretty sure the point of this game is that Luigi's solving all the real problems in the Waffle Kingdom, but Mario has to solve all the little problems here. I don't believe this! Vivian, this is without a doubt all your fault! I'll be dealing out some strict punishment later, my dearie. Oh, yes, I promise you that. What? That's not fair. You're the one who had the... Silence, you squirrel brain. Don't you cop that insolent attitude with me? Ugh, this is not fair. And about that necklace, I was thinking of returning it to you, but no more. Oh. And since you caused this problem, you have to figure out how to find this Mario chump. So that's the update on the Shadow Sirens. This game is being very, very clear that it definitively wants me to be absolutely certain that I know where I am supposed to go at all times right now. What do my items look like? Mm, not ideal. That's okay, though. Not sure I actually want to be taking... Oh, dear. Before I took this combat, I probably should have put some work into determining what I wanted to take. I think I'm probably going to have to take flower points because of the Shadow Sirens fight that's coming up. Which means, sadly, badge points will have to wait for the next level up. You're right, Fillerinks. It seems as though everybody is accepting side quests for Mario because he just, like, doesn't talk. Aww. Well, I hope that dishes go quickly and are not awful, Vix. And hello to your kiddos. So we're gonna take some flower points. Leave <laughs> those dishes the mostest. Yeah. <laughs> Game mental. Utterly ridiculous. Yes, the the hammer is surprisingly effective against clouds. I'm I'm trying to sneak by these guys because like really I don't want to fight them right now. I want I want to be kind of at full strength and I'm gonna have to do I think I'm gonna have to battle a couple of piranha potentially. I'm not entirely sure. Yeah. Come here, Mr. Piranha. So many. And I did the thing again. Where I have the wrong partner out. It was really awkward. Phew! 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 Okay, so I got those two action commands is very important. And I got that one. Nice. Ooh. Ooh. I think I might understand why I'm so bad at the guard action command in Paper Mario, considering I've been doing kind of okay at it in Thousand Year Door. It makes me think they're different, and it makes me think that I just have more experience with knowing how to deal with the Thousand Year Door version. I don't know how many piranha there are before- Ah! Uh, freaking... this guy. Oh my gosh. 
I don't like conceding things like having to use flower points when I know like I'm so close to getting to a shadow siren fight. Very annoying. But I I just don't get to have this fight at full capacity is, is pretty much what it comes down to. Okay, give me back. Yep. Well, if it isn't Mario, shiny mustache or no, you can't be too bright if you came here looking for us. We <laughs> and you know why? Cause we were waiting for you. Oh, that's them. Yeah, totally. They're the ones who had the. Wait a minute. What? You've been waiting for Mario? What's that supposed to mean, you weirdo? <laughs> I have no quarrel with you, but I simply can't allow you to hunt for the crystal stars. And so, I'll be taking that map, little map of yours, just as soon as I deal with you. Hey, what's your deal? How do you know about the map and the crystal stars? Have you been talking to Princess Peach or... Wait, what am I saying? The real question is, who the heck are you, freaks? <laughs> Those who seek names are often disappointed, but if you insist, we'll tell you. We are... The Three Shadow Beauties. The Three Shadow Beauties? Vivian, you did come hope! What are you babbling about? It's Shadow Sirens! I don't see three beauties, I see two! But then there's you and your plug ugly! Gosh, so cruel. Oh, right, sis, I'm sorry. It's just you always call us lovelies, and it's just a figure of speech. So you've got some fierce punishment coming your way. Yeah, totally rude, Focus. I agree. Baldan is just so rude. Oh, gee whiz, I hate being punished. That's for later, though. First, we have to deal with this Mario and his friends. Let's do it, my lovelies. Or rather, my lovely and ugly. Marilyn, Vivian, the might of the three shadow sirens will be more than enough to win the day. Mm -hmm. okay. Mini boss fight. So the thing that I find most complicated against this, uh, or about this, is that there's three of them, and so you have to tattle three times in this combat, which is just very annoying. But we're going to compensate for that by putting Goombella out in front. Okay. Ten health. Oh my gosh. And she's cute enough that Goombella's attracted to her. Um... Yep, Fellerings Blue Hat Siren is way toxic. 
And also one of the scarier aspects of this fight, because she uses more complicated attacks than just punch. Um, and so very much I wanted to take her out first. Oops. Whoop. Well, her attack power just went up. And I'm just gonna have to deal with it, because I need to get a tattle on her too. Twelve! Oh my gosh. That was a great time for a bingo. Yes, please refill the star power that I just used. Star power! Not that I'm gonna use it for this. Sorry, Vivian. So sorry, honey. You're really lovely. Wow, that is a lot of damage. That's okay, though. This is one of those fights, um, like certain fights I kind of want to conserve certain skills for, but this is one of those ones where if you if you aren't willing to toss something huge at it, like a, a, an Earth Tremor, it's very difficult to beat them because there's just, they just have so many skills. <laughs> Oh, maybe we were just a touch overconfident. Marilyn, Vivian, you lumps, we would have won if you two pulled your weight. Both of you prepare for a world-class punishment session when we get home. Okay, so we got the necklace. A tad overconfident. Um, and I think I'm gonna put this friend out. Doesn't do anything, but it's stylish. Hmm. Lovely. Okay, so now we have the necklace, which means we now have to go all the way back across to find Flurry again. Only this time I'm not worried about a boss fight at the end of it. So this time I can actually fight things, potentially. Probably, maybe. I don't want to pick up that in coupon because I'm just going to end up throwing it away. I wish it would let me just fly into the next scene. That would be so funny. Oh, but alas. <laughs> Mario jumping on cloud nine and ten. Okay, so this kind of sucks because I, I don't have hammer throw and he's not on the ground. Whatever. I'll do this. And I guess. That's fine. Aww, you have more chores than just dishes, Fix? I actually had to do the dishes right before I started the stream. Okay. So I need you out. Oh, laundry! Oh, laundry is... I might have to do laundry. There's certain things that I find okay about laundry, but I am one of those people who really struggles to, like, do it all as a single task. And so, like, it'll often... Or for a long time, it used to kind of get stuck. 
doing like the putting away well after it came out of the dryer and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, Vix, I knew who you were talking about. And and I am kind of sorry about that. A lot of the really cool like glasses and mugs and cup style merch is not good enough quality to avoid destruction in a dishwasher. I do the same thing with like glasses like this one. They definitely would be hand wash only. Not that I have a dishwasher, so eh. But I know you like them. Um, filler rinks, it depends on how well they're made. And some stuff is not that well made. It's still pretty though. Okay. Oh, you delightful fellow, you found my necklace. I'm beside myself, truly. But you still mustn't see me. Please, leave the necklace by the door and wait a moment. <sighs> and that would be really sad. Color changing that no longer changes color. Eh, one of the two. Doesn't matter. Oh, splendid, splendid, my oh so ravishing necklace. I'm awash in joy. Disco ball. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my word. Mario, isn't it? Are, are you my heroic little necklace hunter? <laughs> okay, so just to address chat for a split second here, K. Benzel, Flurry is a cloud. And gamers, you're welcome. Well, my, 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 aren't you a... Fine specimen of a man. <laughs> yes, indeed. Uh, yes, a very humanoid shaped cloud. You are right. <laughs> I simply must thank you for your graciousness. But how to do it? Um, perhaps if I grabbed you and gave you a little sugar? Here I come, handsome! Time to give you a proper thank you! Pucker up! I think my favorite part is his frantic- No! 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 <laughs> Which just gets completely ignored. Bonk flurry. No, oh, Mario, you are just the cutest little thing I've ever laid eyes on. No! Yes, you are, and that's that. So tell me. Are you truly looking for the crystal stars? The very same crystal stars spoken of by all the lowlifes in Roveport? Mm -hmm. A danger-filled search for beautiful jewels. How absolutely marvelous. And here I was thinking how frightfully bored I was. It's time for a change. I would just like to point out, we've met three female party members. Well, sort of like four i i just yeah thick cloud lady you need to learn consent so goombella met mario and hit on him and kissed him and then uh who is this one? and then miss mouse met mario and flirted with him and kissed him and then the shadow sirens met mario and were just overwhelmed by his attractiveness and his sketch but attacked him um, and now Flurry has met Mario and is flirting with him and kissed him. So there is a very different type of plot going on here for how we're collecting party members, is what I'm saying. Uh, do you have a request, Vix? I have some bows, I have some elf ears, and I have two headbands. A purple one with a veil, a big fluffy blue one, or I could even go get a Santa Claus one from the next room if you want. Also, thank you, Vixstraws, for redeeming Beaver Gun. For the rest of the stream, I will be wearing some kind of weird costumey apparel, depending on whether or not Vix has a preference. 
Whatever makes me look like a thick cloud lady. All right. All right, I got this. Purple. Purple. And if you'll give me two seconds, I'm going to see if I can find a necklace. Hey, Menzel, I see that message. Oh my gosh. <laughs> One way to describe polyamory. Okay, so now I have an absolutely ridiculous necklace. I'm very purple. And I went with like the most dramatic headpiece that I have. So this is what we've got. This is this is the thick thick cloud lady. Wait. Are VIPs exempt from emote only chat? Oh, okay. That makes sense. Oh my gosh! <laughs> the Fiend... Fiend 9000 is so great. I'm just participating in this because I find it fun. Yeah, you're a mod, Vix. You're exempt from emote only chat. All right, um, so back to this mess. Thank you, by the way, K Menzel, for both redeeming spam those emotes and also handling it, because I wasn't here. So, you know. Ah, oh, continuing on. And besides, I do declare that plush mustache of yours has completely swooned me. A man as manly as you must attract all sorts of trouble, and I want to keep you safe. So I dare say I'll be joining you on this little adventure. I assume that's fine, Mario. Well, at least that time he didn't actively say no. Still, this game has a thing or two to learn about consent. So, Flurry's ability... Um... Is... Basically, if you... I'm sorry, where are you touching, Mario? Uh, uh, she's a cloud and she can make things windy. That's about as far as I'm willing to go on this one. Yep. This is wonderful. It's so nice that Flurry likes you, Mario. Really, it's great. And even more importantly, Flurry's chosen to join us. Let's go to the great tree. Oh my gosh. Okay, so everybody's at full health. Uh, I think mostly because I just put the hat on. I'm gonna go to the tree and we might have another cutscene, which is pretty ridiculous. The sunglasses on Lady Kiwi Wow are my favorite. Is it supposed to auto detect eyes or does it just like randomly put them wherever? Oh, oh. Come on. There, there we go. There we go. Same place on every emote? That would make sense to me. Okay. Just gonna... Just gonna sneak by these guys again. Because... To a point you think it slightly tries to find eyes. See, I'm curious because on Fane... 
it like kind of works and I think he's a little lower than where that one has its glasses. Oh, no wait, it's an important thing. Okay, so that is our first edition of the Rogue Port News, and it wasn't that helpful, but that's okay. Yeah! Maybe it's just where she is in comparison, but it feels like it looks higher on Lady Kiwi Wow, it just probably isn't. I like that you put sunglasses on Fiend Swag. Because it already had sunglasses. Anyway, um, so we're going to do the thing where we go to where Punio told us to go. And then we're going to get rid of... Oh my gosh, Petulant Cobra, that's easily my favorite. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is a great question. I think I would have to be able to be in top-down stream. Yeah, the, the invisible emote is like one of my favorite things. It's so cool. I think I'd have to actually go to the top-down stream and redeem the... What? Why did... Why is that so broken? What did you do to break that so hard, K Menzel? What? You can't squish Fiend Story? Or or you can't put sunglasses on Fiend Story. That's so confusing. Anyway, we found the secret entrance and it has lights. So that's great. Oh. Oh, I see the point. Oh my gosh. This Madame Flurry. I'm so confused. Okay, so he went in the lit up secret entrance and opened the door for us, which is great. Yeah, I guess you're right, Vix. It just looks like it fits. Did they take the flower crown away? Hmm, rude. I just love, I just love the secret entrance, guys. Like... So secret. Much entrance. Oh my goodness. Okay. So there might be a cutscene. And then there might be a save block. And then I might just give up. Okay, Menzel, you would blame Feff. That's rude. Hmm? Weird! Normally everyone's here. What the- Hey! Hey, Elder! Everybody, come on out! Hello? Yes, there's a save block. But we have some things to do first. Oh, shoot. I have the wrong friend. What? Who are you guys? How'd you get in here? Whoa, dude. Is that- Isn't he that Mario guy? What? He is? We better get him then. But dude, Lord Crumb told us to tell him immediately if we found Mario, remember? You idiot! Use your head! If we capture him, we'll get all the credit, man. Duh. Oh yeah, right on. Let's rock this chicken. Okay, so now I'm gonna fight some, some of these guys. Oh no, he's got a stopwatch. I don't want him to use that on me, though. Okay, well, that's good to know. Okay, tell me about him, please. 
X not an enemy combatant. Four, attack is three, and they drink potions. And have special moves or something. Yeah. Seem like a pretty basic enemy to me. But like, they do an annoying amount of damage. That's fine. We defeated them anyway. Totally fine. Gosh, stream is going late. <laughs> Uh, so they're gonna run away. Then we're gonna have more cutscene, which I'm probably gonna fast forward, cause... Yeah. Pretty slick work handling those guys, Mario. The question remains, where did everybody go? And then we see one of them in the background. So we learn that they're just hiding. And they think he's... He might beat them. Everybody. <laughs> so burly. Okay, so these are the punies. They live in the tree. And then there's a really big puny. Named Puniper. Um, but yeah, basically the punies are kind of generic looking except for Punio, who's like green and striped. And then for Pewdiepie, who is like bur burly. And apparently a lot of other punies have been captured by the x knots the Elder, and Punio's sister, Petunie! Oh no! She's been caught by the bad guys! Which, I mean, like, the thing that I've learned is when there are little sisters involved, you have to, you have to help them out. So, oh my goodness, and the Jabby tribe is in league with the enemy? Have fun with dinner! I'm- I'm almost done. I'm legitimately just gonna finish this cutscene, hit a save block, and then find someone to raid. So, thank you for being here, Vix. I hope your dinner is delicious, and I hope it actually is steak and potatoes, because that would be fantastic. Okay. Oh my gosh. There's just so much talking. And the talking is all just to be like Mario... Have a great chat. You meant have a great day chat. That's okay. Um, and so again, Mario has been told that it is his job to deal with side quests. Because obviously... Yeah, sure. I'll, I'll hit the block. Why not? Oh my gosh, steak quesadilla is yes. Okay. And that's where we're going to call it a day for now. So we did explore the town a little bit. We met Luigi, which is the most important part. Um, cause like, he's, he's the best secondary part of this game. Chicken. I think had nothing to do with it. Progress! Um, yeah, we met Luigi, which is great. Uh, we started chapter two and we did all of the ridiculous fetch quests to get us to the start of the dungeon, which is where we are now. Um, so we're basically sitting here just kind of being all like, yeah, yeah, we're, we're going to explore the great Bogley tree and, and go from there. Um, so again, a slight change of pace here, but if you guys are willing to stick around, oh my gosh, I didn't think of a raid message. Uh, hold on. I'm- I'm making this up as I go. This is an awful idea. This is an awful idea, but we're gonna- we're gonna call that a raid message for now. 
<laughs> which is awful. Um, and we're going to get a little bit of a change of pace. We're going to pop over. <laughs> I'll think of a better one one day. We're going to pop over and see Jordi Kai again, who's playing Batman Arkham City. Um, she is lovely. Uh, very, very colorful, wonderful streamer um, who's very sweet. And so it's a bit of a different game, but it is Batman and Batman's pretty heckin' cool. So thank you, Zaylor Avon, for redeeming Hydrate. Nice. I will do that. Just before we stop, and thank you to everyone who stopped by today, who wanted to hang out, who enjoyed the lovely new emotes, and don't forget, if you're a sub, I now have a Discord that you can hang out and join if you want to. Um, so I'll be back again on Monday. Stream might start a little late, but I'm still aiming to start at 2 o'clock or just a few minutes afterwards, uh, depending on a work meeting that I have. Um, but for now, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and a great weekend. Bye!